two minutes, mate. What's going on? You can't do that to me. What's going on? How did you do that? your sheets to the fancy dress shop. What am I supposed to make the beds with in the meantime? Um, Superman's cape. <laughs> what am I expected to do with this? You can put it on your head and scare people. See? I'm very sorry. Pauline, what does it say on the front of the shop? Back in ten minutes? No, across the top of the shop. Cottrell's dry cleaners. Cottrell's dry cleaners what? Collection and delivery service. It doesn't say Cottrell's dry cleaners collection and delivery to the wrong address service, does it? Do you want me to go and have another look? That's it. I've had it with you. I'm not putting up with it anymore. You're fired. You heard me. Get your stuff and get out. Oh. Now! I'm so sorry, Mr. Dawson. This won't happen again. I didn't mean anyone to lose their job, necessarily. Oh, no. Incompetence must be punished. My father was very clear about that. And don't worry. You will get your sheets. Good. Thanks. <laughs> times have I sacked you in front of a customer? I don't know. Five? Ten. Ah, you really had me going that time. I don't need this, Pauline. Look at this, I've got two parking tickets here. That's three suits cleaned, 15 shirts, four and a half skirts. It must be really scary going back to school. Where you've forgotten it all and making a fool of yourself. I could never focus on lessons and ended up here. You're right. Well, it wasn't until you said that. Hey, at least you look smart. It's like your own walking wardrobe, this place. I'm doing an English literature degree. I'm not auditioning for the Scissor Sisters. Good. Let's just have a not get mugged in the playground for my dinner money. Hello? Yes, I'm Lee's father. Easy. Easy. What, my brethren, you cool? Pack it in, will you? Is this a bank holiday I don't know about? Your headmaster called, said he's supposed to be in detention for bunking off. Who's this, man? <laughs> your parole officer? <laughs> Never seen him before. I'm his dad. What do you mean? You told us your dad was dead, man. Yeah, I wish he was. We're trying to play a game here, mate. Hey, am I a man of this, you know? Am I yard this? And I like hanging around Pan Street when I should be in school. That way my brain turns to mush and I end up doing some crap job. Like what you did. We ain't talking about me, Lee. Oh yeah, cause I've got your perfect, ain't ya? You? you got the grades. You landed the dream job. I should have the people's dirty clothes for people. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to end up doing the same thing? Let's stay in here listening to this. Hey man, safe. Where we going now, man? Sainsbury's car park? To hang out there? Cool. Or what about the disabled ramp of boots, yeah? Wicked. What do you want, man? You're going home. Your house sent my home. Oh. <laughs> oh.
bloody hell are you doing? I'm really, really sorry. I'm all right. Are you sure? I'm fine. I've just saw my whole life pass before my eyes, that's all. First 16 years were terrible because they were in black and white, and then you know, we got colour in 1975 and things perked up. So what? Hey! an art class by mistake, have I? Oh, I'm in the pens. Red is for character notes, blue is for themes, uh, black is for um, underlining quotations, green is for imagery, and pink is for historical reference. Can one of you borrow us a pen? Do you realise how many times you have violated the English language in that one single sentence? Is that posh for no pen or what? I've got a spare. Very. Look, Jenny. Hey, if we swapped the R's and the N's, we'd be Ben and Jerry. Like the ice cream? Yeah, I, I, I suppose we would. I'm Mina. I'm oh, sorry, but I feel like I know you from somewhere. Jen, from Soli Hall. 20 years old, likes rabbits and goes like one too. I did page three for years, you know, when it still had a bit of class. Yeah, I, I remember that. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm late. Slight contretemps with a girlfriend. Says that I hardly ever say I love her. I say, look, you say it all the time. Devalue it. Love you. Have a nice day. Love you. Nice cup of tea. Love you. I said, look, here's the deal. How about I say it to you once a week? <laughs> Not the point, she says. Anyway, end result, I'm in the doghouse. So, just to remind you all, this is a month-long primer. You then do a marked essay, and if you pass, you get the option of entering the English degree course. Oh, what's the point? Excuse me, um... Charles. Beresford. Everybody calls me Berry. I don't know why I bother. Half of you won't see it through anyway. Will they, Kate? So, just to clarify, we are supposed to be talking about Hamlet, aren't we? I assure you that I am quite familiar with the tragedy of Hamlet, and I was looking forward to some heated... I am doing Hamlet. That's the brilliance of Shakespeare. He writes about the timelessness of human emotions, tragedy, jealousy, unrequited love, murder, the mad girlfriend. I think I'm going to need some more colours. Gross! Don't panic, it's rubber. So, Beresford, Berry, can you please tell the group what this play is about? Uh, we're in Denmark. Hamlet's father's just died. Just ignore it. It's her. Come on. Key scene. Hamlet's on the battlements. He's got his crew with him, you know. And, um, are you sure you don't want to get that? It might be something urgent. Nope, never is. Righto. Are you married, Barry? No, not anymore. Girlfriend? No. We've only just met, and already I envy you more than you will ever know. I'm sorry, but will you hold on to that for a second? Could you hold on to that and all? Right, huh? Carry on. Sorry, are we going to talk about the play? I have made notes in preparation. Let, let's, let, let, let's hear them then. Let's get the ball rolling. Well, since you alluded to the gravedigger scene... Uh, um, do you mind if we avoid talking about death today? I'm working in a funeral parlour. I'm finding a bit emotional. <laughs> We could talk about how the men used to hold their tights up. Hi. I thought you might like a progress report on my injuries. I thought you said you were all right. 
Well, I am, you know, more or less. It's just lucky that the human body hasn't found a real use for the spleen, you know. If that's where your spleen is, you're in trouble. Maybe the accident shifted it round a bit? Are we done? No, actually, um, I was wondering if you wanted to go out for a drink. My, my liver's fine. Sorry, I've got to get back. Um, this is me. It was nice meeting you. You too. Will I see you next week? I don't know. You can reverse over me if you like, you know, for a change. Okay, now she's going that way. Give her a wide berth. Reverse is that way, love. out the absolute worst in me. Didn't see where it went, did you? I think we're over there by them geraniums. Is that what they are? I think so. What's the problem? Oh, well, nothing that's become a something. Oh. Apparently because I work nights. I never get to see you. But if I don't work, then what are we meant to live on? I better get that. It'll be for me. Nature calls. But why can't I come home, Mum? It's like Guantanamo Bay here. There's no food. Everything's dirty. It leaves the dishes out in case it rains and does him a favour. It's no proper loo roll. What are we using? He's got some rolls of wallpaper we found in the cellar. We live in like pigs. But I'm not exaggerating, Mum. I'm not surprised you left him. I want to leave him and I'm not even married to him. But Mum... Evening. Where do you think you're going? Out. No, you're not. You're grounded. What says you? You're grounded until you can be trusted to go to school. That ain't fair. Lee, you're a good boy. You were getting good grades. What's going on? Look, it's boring, right? School's boring. It's meant to be boring. That's why it's called school. If it wasn't boring, it'd be called Chessington World of Adventures. No wonder Mum left you. You're pathetic. You know what, Lee? I don't want to get into a childish argument with you. I hate you. Here we go. I hate you. So how childish is that, man? You make me sick. Mm -hmm. What? Well, that was a brilliant pair, wasn't it? You win £5,000 plus a T-shirt for your child that says, My dad's an arsehole. So, something's rotten in the state of Denmark, right? I saw a documentary on Denmark. It was spotless. Good morning. I'm talking about in Hamlet's time. Oh, well, maybe then it was Mingy. But they're very hygiene conscious, you know, the Danes. Yes, famed for their bacon. Oh, I could murder a bacon, Sarney. Vigo, is that delivery ready yet? Honestly, it'd be quicker if you hired a sloth with his shoelaces tied together. Sloths don't wear shoes, Pauline, because they live in trees. So they wear gloves? That's right, they wear gloves. How are we shaping up this week? Uh, hotel linen needs picking up this afternoon, and we've got those suits to drop off. Were some safety pins gone? Oh, uh, yeah. I moved them over here. Close to where we use them. Thought it'd save time. Well, don't let him know. He'd have a fit if he thought a speck of dust had changed in here. Hello? Dad? What's wrong? Dad. Mary. Thank God. Thank God you're here. Terrible. It's terrible. What is it? What's happened? It's the sky. It won't work. All I want to watch is the cricket. And instead is that bleeding Jamie Oliver going on about turkey twizzlers again. I thought this was urgent. I want to watch the cricket. Dad, there's things I need to be doing. I heard. You're off with your Shakespeare stupidness when you should be running my business. Pauline's covering. Oh, seven years. Seven years you're in charge and we still only got one van. We should have been starting the Queen's draws by now. Yeah, yeah. H hello? Yes, I'm ringing on behalf of Denton Cottrell. He's having trouble with his digibox. 
Yes, actually, I wouldn't mind being put back on hold. Could you? Great. The brother Carlton hadn't got himself put in jail. He'd be in charge by now, and he'd make a better job, too. I'm not sure about that, Dad. He didn't make much of a job of burglary, did he? Kids are so ungrateful, eh? You bring them into the world and they betray you. Betray? I got a turn coming on. Hold on, don't go away. Nurse. Please don't Nurse. go away. Hold on a minute. Nurse. You all right? I got a son who's draining my life's blood and tearing out my very soul. Hello? He's a vampire. Can't even fix the TV. You know why this isn't working? You put in your nectar card? What are you supposed to get with this? The shopping channel? King off, I was about to follow your lead. <laughs> Likewise. Your relative of yours. Huh? I recognise the name from your van. Oh, no. It's a very common name in the Caribbean, Cottrell. It's, um, it's like Smith. It's, it's another branch of the family. He's your son, isn't he? Yes, he is. Burley claims he is when he needs money. I'm sure there's a good kid inside. The amount of bad kids you'd have to cut away to find him would be this small. <laughs> Don't be too hard on him. You'll only make him rebel even more. Is that what you were like? Yeah. Used to be. Then what? I had an anxiety attack and got married. You have to empathise with Hamlet, though, don't you? I mean, semi-dead dad continuing to control his life. Dad, I'm the Prince of Sod in Denmark. I'm old enough to make my own decisions. Never mind that why. Why are you wearing that jacket with those jerseys? <laughs> what it gets me is Laertes. It's full of it. Where does he get off telling Ophelia to stay away from Hamlet? Oh, I'd be like, shut up, bitch, I'll see what I like. I think what's bothering you subliminally is the dual standard. I mean, on the one hand, Laertes is positively encouraged, indeed expected, to carouse. Whereas on the other, Ophelia is told to be guarded and chaste. Polonius' intentions are meant to be good, though, aren't they? I mean, he's only trying to protect his daughter. Charles? Polonius reminds me of my dad. He hates my boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend, as far as he's concerned. And the more he tells you not to see him, the more you want to see him. A bit, yeah. Maybe that's why I feel he is drawn to Hamlet. Even when he is acting all weird. <laughs> Fascinating stuff, ladies and gentlemen, but unfortunately all we've got time for. Very good, lively debate. Blah de blah de blah. See you next week. Either he's a really, really good teacher, or else he's quite phenomenally bad. Shakespeare's language is brilliant, isn't it? To suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. What a fantastic way of saying life sucks. It'll make a great T-shirt. So you're enjoying it, then? Yeah, it's a new experience sitting in a classroom and not having the blackboard rubber bounce off my head every five minutes, you know. I'm enjoying it more this time. I think the group's livelier. Mad, you mean? You could talk. Ah, but I'm only mad north-northwest, which, as coincidence would have it, is the same direction as the pub. Do you fancy it? Flag and a mead and a bag of crisps? I'd like to, but I, I've got to get back. So something better than mead and crisps? Not possible. Bye, Barry. Bye, Kate. Hello, Hugh. No yeah. flying phone today? Not today, no. You go to a car boot sale? Unfortunately not. That's actually all my worldly possessions. Except, of course, my yin-yang rug that's still in the house. Yeah, they always keep the things that matter the most. I certainly do. She's given me an ultimatum. Drop the classes or live shave voiture. I see. Could be worse. It's a pretty solid bit of car. Yeah, man, Volvo, German engineering, you know what I mean? <laughs> 
You see, I know not to do that. You're not going to drop the class, are you? She's forcing me to choose between spending time with a bunch of dysfunctional basket case students or having some of the best sex I've ever had in my life. Tough call. Well, it was nice knowing you, man. Thank you. I really, really didn't realise. I'm so sorry, Hugh. You could be ovulating. Your temperature's up. Is it? Didn't know. No, I, I didn't realise. So hurry home. Because the orchestra's tuned up. And the conductor is about to get his band out. Hugh? Hugh, I'm... I'm, I'm sorry, my battery's running. Hugh. So I, I took a gap year after my A-levels. It turned into a gap decade. I spent my 20s travelling around the world. Egypt, Tibet, India. I, it didn't used to be like this. It used to be a proper pub. I used to underage drink, yeah. But now with all the candles, it's a bit... Yeah. Feels like there should be some bloke with a bucket full of roses, you know. Yeah, and a violin. Flowers for the lady. <laughs> what do you like to drink? A glass of rosé, please. Just a pint for me, please, mate. I've travelled a bit, but not so far, you know. Yeah, whereabouts? Blackpool. Now you're making fun of me. No, I'm not. I went to Blackpool every year till I was 15. They say travel broadens the mind. They don't say how far you have to travel to broaden it. Go on, then. Give us a highlight. I suppose it was when I was in the desert of Rajasthan, the camel fair. People used to come from all over the country, down from the mountains to sell their camels. It was night time, it was freezing cold, and the first rays of the sun were coming up over the mountain. And all around were the Bedouin, crouched by their fires outside their tents, with thousands and thousands of camels silhouetted against the red sky. It was a scene that hasn't changed since biblical times. Wow. What about you? Can't match that. Oh, go on. There must be something. On the M55, just past Kirkham, we'd been on the coach for hours. Everyone was smoking. Couldn't open the window, so you could only see a few inches in front of you. Some people had come prepared. They brought their Mills and Boone novels in Braille. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing. And Auntie Daphne wanted a wee, but she wouldn't use the loo on the coach. She said, the chemicals give you cancer of the bottom. So we pulled in, and uh, she got off. The smoke cleared, and that's when I remember having my first sight in a black pool. You know, the tower rising into the dirty clouds, the roads jammed with caravans, a drizzle of rain slanting across the valley, and Auntie Daphne squatting in the field with her skirt bunched up, stroking a sheep. I'll never forget it. <laughs> you won that one. <laughs> what time did you get in last night? I can't remember, not too late. I thought we were laying off the booze. Don't say we like that, you're not. Anyway, I only had a couple. Enough to make you snore. You can't expect me to be teetotal when I'm not even pregnant. We ought to start a bit before Oda. May as well get the troops lined up ready for action. You make it sound more like an invasion. Let's negotiate terms of surrender. Yeah, yeah, strip away the unfamiliar language, and it's genuinely exciting. Sword fights all over the place, punching and kicking, sleeping with your mother. It's like Kill Bill, only in tights. Don't drive me up to the front gates, Dad. Put under that, I don't know you're not going to bunk off. Because I won't. I don't believe you. 
Look, I can't be seen in this van, Dad. Honest, I'll go into school, please. Wait a second. What? I'm doing this for you. No, not the lecture. I want you to have the opportunities I never had. You got to study now, or you'll waste your life away. You're very bright, blah, blah, blah. Job opportunities, blah, blah, blah. So you have been listening then? Yeah, it doesn't mean I'm going to do it though. Can I go now? Have a good day at school, Lee. Right, Vigo, move this away from the wall. That's it. Oh, come on, Vigo, you're fucking to eat. What are you doing? You're driving me mad. You're never here. Plot, 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 plot. Hang up clothes. Plot, 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 plot. Plot, 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 plot. Hang up clothes. Plot, 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 plot. I understand what you're saying. Now it's just. See? Without a plot, it's four times as fast. Which means we could take on more orders. Give me back my yin yang rug. Oh, good. Ah, oh, but alas, she doth retain my nads athwart her marble mantelpiece, perforce. Hi, my lord. Tis women's way thus to deprive us of our manhoods and enslave us to their loins. That's not strictly iambic pentameter. I was just having a go. Well, don't. You'll hurt yourself. We're in the field over there. I go, my liege. To reason why we're not in the classroom. I mean, a field is not really conducive to a working atmosphere. I sort of agree. I mean, if we're already outside and we can't stare out the window. We're not here to work. We're here to play. Shakespeare's plays don't exist until you see them happening. You've got to get them on their feet. This, my friends, is what Hamlet's talking about when he's contemplating suicide and says, when he himself might his quietus make with a bear. Oh, bodkin. This is the bodkin. I know the feeling. Now this is the star of the Elizabethan armory. The 16th century equivalent of nine millimeter handgun. You have to imagine them fighting with ease. Hacking and stabbing. They weren't just a feet mincing men in tights. Hunger. What are you doing here? I can't believe you ain't seeing me because you'd rather be doing this. What? You promised me you'd stay away from Look, this idiot. Dad? Are you calling an idiot, mate? I mean, I'm, I'm calling you an idiot. Dad. Whatever. Why are you going to do this for? Because I'm her dad. Yeah, well, you hear my dad, mate, so mind your tone. He's not making me do anything. Not that it's any of your business, but I'm not happy about her doing this rubbish either. Actually, it's not rubbish. When you strip away the unfamiliar language. This is great, just like the play. Manipulative father, jealous boyfriend, Ophelia the unwitting pawn. Let's hope nobody gets stabbed behind the arrows. Do you mind? I'm doing this course because I want to. I'm not doing it because of him, and I'm not doing it because of you. I'm doing it because of me. 
I think you should listen to your daughter, and I think you could give a little bit more support to your girlfriend. Uh, thanks, Barry. But what I really don't need is another bloke making my life even more complicated than it already is. <sighs> All right, Mina. Go on. Ah, ah, ah. You're right. I'm fine. Can someone get a first aid kit, please? Uh, you need to put pressure on that. And you're going to need a tetanus injection. Uh, it's only a little scratch. I don't know what all the fuss is about. Yeah, I knew somebody in Cambodia who had a scratch like that. What happened? They got blood poisoning and died. Keep fussing. I'm just going to take these back to the car. See you next week. Charles! What about the essay? Oh, yes, the final essay. 2,000 words on the destructive effect of male-female relationship in Hamlet. You've got a week. Hang about a bit, you're coming with me. You ain't taking me to school. No, because when I do take you, you bunk off as soon as we get there, so there's no point. Since you can't be bothered to go to school and I'm out of action, you're covering for me. Shut up, I ain't working in here. Fine, no allowance. You can't stop my pocket money. Just have. Pauline, I've got a spotter for you. I hope you're not squeamish. I can't believe the types of thing you have to deal with in this place. Vomit, blood, snot. Yeah, you better get used to it, because if you don't go to school, this is what you're going to end up doing. Now get to work. If it gives you any trouble, give me a call. Idiot. Right. All you have to do is locate the stain, then try to identify it. Often I find smells the best way. Scratch and sniff. That's right. There's no way I'm doing that. Yeah, well, your dad says you've got to do what I say. You start by going through the pockets. They all need to be emptied. Any time this century be good. Swinging. It's not right goes in the bin. I need to change in here. Well, what's all this? It's a university fund. Your dad started it seven years ago now. Every spare penny goes into it. Yeah, right. But personally, I think it's a waste of time. By now. I'm just leaving. What is it? Hamlet? Yes. Yes, it is. Well, the bit where he says to drink or not to drink. Maybe you shouldn't. Tonight is an important night. Not to be. 
That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of... I was the more deceived. Get thee to a nunnery. To a nunnery, go! Mind you going to the toilet? You are merry, my lord. Who? I? I, my lord. Oh, God, you're only jig-making. But what should a man do but be merry? For look you how cheerfully my mother looks. My father died within two hours. Late is twice two months, my lord. So long? Then let the devil wear black, for I'll have a suit of sables. Then there's hope. A great man's memory may uplive his life half a year. But buy it, lady. He must build churches then, or else not suffering on with the hobby horse. Whose epitaph is? For O, oh, for O, oh, the hobby horse is forgot. For O, oh, for O, oh, the hobby horse is forgot. Yes. because it meant the pain was nearly over. Yeah, but he took his time about it, didn't he? Oh, my God, I thought the twitching was never going to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> we could bunk off. Forget about it all for one night. Go wild. Paint the town red, or at least a subtle shade of crimson. I'd love to. Oh. But I can't. I have to go home. What's so important you can't wait one night? My husband. Can you go to school? I was just trying to help. Get upstairs now! Hello. I'm so sorry. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know how to. You were so enthusiastic. Could have discussed it. I'm happy to wait a couple of years. That wouldn't do it. It's not that you. You're running away again, aren't you? Actually, for the first time in my life, I don't think I am. <laughs> Ophelia. Good, my lord. How does your honour for this many a day? Lady, shall I lie in your lap? 
I'm not sure we've known each other long enough. Do you think I meant country matters? I think nothing, my lord. That's a fair thought to lie between maid's legs. What's that? Nothing. I'm married. I know. More's the pity. The pity is as much mine as it is yours. Doing here? You said you'd be up all night working. You did offer to clean my top. Of course. Can't afford to turn business away nowadays. Well, this is either going to work or explode, so get ready to run. Amazing. Right, um, let's get you in. Here. Thanks. Yeah, this is clean, isn't it? Uh, actually, no, I don't think it is, because they've, they've moved everything around. Um, I'll get you in here. <coughs> Looks good. Shame you haven't got a Wonder Woman one. What this is? Is it ink or ketchup or Dulux red corpuscle? You can learn a lot about people from the clothes they wear. Now here's someone who could do with a good taste transplant. I was wearing that ironically. All right, what does this say about you? Go on then. Well, yeah, it's stylish. Uh, it's bohemian. She probably wears it to remind herself of when she was a free spirit. Now she's married, living in suburbia, kids looming round the corner. How did I do? What's wrong? What's the matter? I don't know what I'm doing here. What's happened? I shouldn't have come here. Yes, you should. No, I... I'm sorry, I can't do this. I didn't mean to. I've got to go. I'm sorry. Come on now, concentrate. What's wrong? The double A's. You might want to get a pack of four. Save you the trouble of going down to the store next time. It's broke. I can't change channels without it. What do you think I do with my days? Um... I give up. I work? I work running your business? That's what you call it. Running it into the ground. That's what I call it. I've given up everything to run that stinking place for you. Given up? What have you given up? There ain't nothing else you could do. That's what I used to think. But not anymore. It's over, Dad. I've had enough. Beresford! Come here, boy!
just made it. Yeah, could you take it to account that it's completed as a rubbish? I'm sure it isn't, Barry. And I've stapled a fiver to every other page as well. I'm sorry, Charles. I didn't have enough time. I couldn't get it down to the word limit. I didn't use any quotes. It just doesn't make any sense. Barry, the future is not set. There is no future but what we make ourselves. Shakespeare. Schwarzenegger. Terminator 1. Watched it again last night. It's very inspiring. I went home, told my girlfriend she either accepts me teaching extra classes or it's hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> what did she say? She took the hasta la vista option. But at least it broke the arm pass. Any sign of Kate? No. Right. So that's one skirt, one jacket, hand finished and ready on Friday. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Hello, sir. How can I help you? I haven't been gone that long. The place looks great, Pauline. Thanks. More like a dry cleaner's, less like a charity shop. Do you put the prices up? Is it effective business? Yeah, we earn more money. What's wrong with Lee? Nothing. Why? He's moving with a sense of purpose. It's actually been a great help. What? Who are you? And what have you done with my son? Hi, Dad. You know this isn't a career, don't you? Yeah, Dad. You know you're going back to school after the holidays and you're going to do GCSEs and your A-levels and go to university and get a first and have a glittering career and come and bother me in the old people's home and whine on and on about how I never encouraged you. <laughs> yeah. Just checking. Oh, by the way, some laundry needs picking up from Culver's Pond. Foxborn's a great stain remover. So you handed your essay in then, Dad? Yeah. All I've got to do now is find a decent tree to hang myself from. I'd just like to say... I'm proud of you all. If you passed, I hope to see you on the degree course next year. If you didn't quite pass, in other words, you failed, then as Hamlet says, there is nothing either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. Try again. Oh. What is it with the tears? No, no, please, he's happy. He's happy. I got my C. <laughs> I got my C. Oh, well done. That's very good. <laughs> C. But, uh, there must be some mistake. Have I got the right paper? Pat, it is a pass. Yes, but it's a third class pass. A snap. <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> Mind you. What? I don't think I could take six more years of my dad and my boyfriend laying into each other. Well, if it stops them learning to you. Good point. Well made. Unlike my essay, I suspect. Very. Clean top. Thank you. Oh, how much do I owe you? 
Want dinner? You going away? Yeah. Yeah, I, I need to give myself some space. Blackpool. <laughs> Malaysia. I see. Let me get those for you. Good sir. How long are you going away for? I'm not sure. So it could be another decade then. <laughs> By the way, Charles said that you'd passed. Oh, good. And what about you? Yes. That's great. Great. I'll go and... Uh... You too. Six weeks. All's well that ends well. 